Whenever you're ready. At what point do rules created to protect million dollar athletes and improve the sport of football do more damage to the integrity and outcome of the game than serve the purpose they were created for? I'm also Scott and I believe that the NFL is ruining itself by um, taking away the value of unique players, coaches not being able to challenge all penalties, and the game being changed to revolve around one player. Years ago in the NFL, it took a certain type of receiver to run through the middle of the defense, catch a ball, complete the pass, while getting hit in multiple directions, just like this over here, Terrell Ball. Um, um, in today's time, with include penalties such as helmet to helmet and high lows, it's taken away the value and uniqueness of big physical receivers like that because any size receiver could go catch that ball, and as long as a free safety or any defender comes up and hits him hard enough and he drops the ball, as long as the hit looks bad, and it can be halfway questionable, then it can be an illegal hit, and that's that play, That defender can then be ejected, and then the offense is awarded the first down. So it's taken away the value of those players, and it's also making it harder to play defense in the NFL. My second point is that coaches should be able to challenge all bad penalty calls. In an article titled New Year's Resolutions for the NFL, ESPN writer John Clayton said that for a change to happen to the penalty rules, um, where they would review them, uh, all the NFL owners would have to petition that, and then it would have to be approved. The odds of that happening are not very likely. Um, in another article written by Mike Florio, he brings up the point that pass interference should always be up for review since the flow of that drive is already disrupted by the penalty itself. And an example of this was the Super Bowl was last weekend. The Patriots came back from a big, um, or the Patriots came back from a big upset. And there was an entire drive where almost every third down was completed because of a pass interference call on the defense. I'm not saying that those pass interference calls were good or bad, but what I'm saying is I'm sure Atlanta was upset that they couldn't challenge any of those because that changed the game. The Patriots ended up coming back and winning when they weren't up at all. My last point is that the game of football seems to revolve around one player, the quarterback. Um, in an article written by Jeffrey Chudia, titled Heed the Cry of the Tough Guys, he brings attention to the roughing the passer rule. Um, a new amendment to the rule is that a defensive player going to sack the quarterback cannot be on the ground while he does so or like lunge, like a low lunge to tackle the quarterback. While it is important to protect the quarterback because he's all, like, often the franchise player or the face of the team, uh, that's the offensive lineman's job. Like, that's why they're on the field to protect the ball carriers, such as the quarterbacks and running backs. Uh, this just shows favoritism to the quarterbacks, and I, it doesn't seem very fair that there's just rules to protect one player and not the others. And this, again, goes back to my second point, that it's hard to play defense in the NFL now because a defender could be diving for the quarterback, it's a little bit low, but he makes the sack, and then a 10-yard loss turns into a first down and a 15-yard gain for the offense because of this new amendment to the rule. So in conclusion, the NFL is hurting itself in the game of football from taking the value of unique players away, um, not being able to challenge bad calls by creating rules that show favoritism to 